Hey, what's going on my friend? Are you looking for a new TV stand or entertainment center for your home? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a review of the Real Flame Fresno Fireplace TV stand. Hey guys, welcome back. NT here from Prime Spaces where we assemble all sorts of home and office furniture and equipment from the smallest to the most popular retail stores. So today I am reviewing the Real Flame Fresno Electric Fireplace TV Stand. Now, I've assembled a handful of other TV stands from Real Flame over the past few years, and generally speaking, they make quality furniture, and assembly has been pretty straightforward without any snags or hiccups. This product will be reviewed and given a score of one through 10. There are 10 categories total, and each category can earn up to one full point. So somewhere below this video or in the comments section, you can see the category list, and beside each category, you can see the timestamp of where it's covered in this video in case you wanna jump to specific categories that are most important to you. And for clarification, the overall score does not reflect just the quality of the furniture, but also the essential features and overall assembly experience. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch all of our reviews and make sure to follow us on Instagram at prime underscore spaces, where we post completed photos and videos in order to give you inspiration whenever you're looking for a new piece of furniture or equipment for the home or office. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. So there are quite a few online retailers that I saw selling this TV stand, including Real Flames, the brand itself. Now, Real Flames had it listed on their website for $910, but then Home Depot had it listed for $870. I also saw a couple of other websites listing it for $770. Now, that may seem to be a bit pricey for a TV stand, but that's right in the same ballpark of other TV stands that have built-in electric fireplaces and additional features. If you were to see a similar TV stand, but without the built in fireplace, you could easily see one third or even one half of the price deducted. One of the key drivers of the price, other than the fireplace itself, is the design, uh, the number of built-in shelves, and the overall storage space. This TV stand has a total of six shelves, each 17 inches long and 14 and a half inches wide, which is a pretty decent amount of shelf space. Overall, it's a solid piece of furniture and has lots of shelf and storage space, so it earns one full point in the price category. So when I started assembling this TV stand, I noticed that there wasn't an overwhelming amount of parts, which isn't bad, but sometimes it's an indicator as to how strong or flimsy the furniture will be. When I was done with the assembly, I was actually pleasantly surprised to see how sturdy the TV stand was. It uses a standard cam bolt and lock system for fastening the furniture parts together. And on top of that, this TV stand can hold up to 100 pounds, which is more than enough for a TV. Overall, it's a pretty sturdy piece of furniture, so I'll give this TV stand one full point for the sturdiness category. Now this TV stand has some pretty good size to it. It weighs about 153 pounds, it's about 71.73 inches wide, which is a little bit over a quarter of an inch shy of six feet. It's about 30 inches tall and about 19 inches deep, so it has a solid base and covers some pretty good space. Obviously, depending on how big your TV is, you may have some space on both sides of the TV to put stuff on it, like candles or picture frames. Now, you always want to consider how much floor space a piece of furniture will take up. And as I mentioned before, this TV stand is about 19 inches deep, so it really doesn't protrude too much from the wall. All things considered, this TV stand passes the size test and earns one full point in the size category. So this TV stand is made of solid wood, powder coated steel and veneered MDF. But here's the thing, MDF is known to contain VOC and VOC stands for volatile organic compounds and these are a large group of chemicals which can cause irritation to the lung and eyes. Now VOCs are found in many products used to build and maintain homes. The issue is these chemicals get released or off gassed into the indoor air, it gets circulated and you end up breathing it in. I'm not a doctor and I don't know how likely you are or not to experience any health issues because of it and I'm sure growing up I had plenty of furniture made with MDF in my household. I had siblings, a mother and a father who to my knowledge never had any lung or eye issues although more of us wear glasses than not. Anyway I'm sure they regulate the amount of VOCs used in furniture but in good faith I can't give any points in the materials category for containing VOCs. They'll just have to earn it somewhere else. 
Now on a lighter note, this thing has the feature of all features for a TV stand, which is a fireplace with some really cool features. It can heat rooms up to 1000 square feet and it's got an adjustable thermostat so you can set your desired room temperature. You can also set a timer up to nine hours. It's got six different flame colors to choose from and five different brightness levels for the flame. And best of all, it has a remote that you can control all of these features from. Also, don't forget, this TV stand has six shelves, each 17 by 14 and a half inches, which is also very functional. So for the features category, this TV stand earns one full point. So to package this TV stand, they use a mix of reinforced cardboard that line up along the edges of the interior of the shipping box and styrofoam that line up along the side of the interior of the shipping box. The reinforced cardboard is really, really important because it protects the pieces of furniture in case the box is dropped or something heavy falls on it during shipping, which happens from time to time. They also wrap each furniture piece using bubble wrap and a really thin material that I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you can see it here on the screen. And this protects the furniture pieces from scratching or damaging each other during transit. I think they did a pretty decent job of packaging this TV stand, so it earns one full point in the product packaging category. Now, hardware packaging plays a big role during the assembly process. What you really want to be able to do is move from step to step as fluidly as possible, and if the hardware is not sectioned off and already pre-organized, it will cost you time having to empty out the hardware and organize them yourself. And unfortunately, that was exactly the case for this hardware packaging. Now, the hardware parts didn't vary too much, and overall, there weren't that many individual pieces, so it didn't take too long to organize them. But still, it's not nice to have the hardware already pre-organized because it saves you time. So this TV stand earns 0.75 or three quarters of a point in the hardware packaging category. Now, as a friendly disclaimer, the ease of assembly category is scored as it pertains to my skill set as a professional assembler. Different skill sets and interpretations of instructions may vary. That being said, I felt that the instruction manual was as easy to follow as they come. The guide uses only picture illustrations, but the illustrations are very clear. Sometimes picture illustrations can be confusing if too many steps are jammed into one illustration, but they do a really good job of focusing on sub-assemblies and clearly identifying the hardware that you need for each step, and there are only eight steps total. Also to note, the firebox already comes as an assembled piece, and to attach it to the TV stand, all you have to do is place it face down in its designated slot and then fasten it using four screws. Now, I know whether it's five steps or 50 steps, assembling furniture can be a frustrating activity for some. So if you know you don't have the patience for the task, just hire a professional. They should have no problem assembling this TV stand without difficulty. So this TV stand easily earns one full point in the ease of assembly category. Now, besides your TV being placed on the TV stand, the only other feature you'll be using is the remote control to control the different features of the firebox. The remote control uses symbols to signify which feature it controls, and there are six buttons or symbols total. The symbols alone are pretty intuitive and self-explanatory, but if you are unclear as to which buttons control certain functions, then you can refer to the firebox user guide. And after a use or two, you really won't need it anymore. In fact, the customer that I completed the assembly for had already got gotten familiar with the remote control before I even left. That being said, this TV stand earns one full point for the ease of use category. Overall, the TV stand is about 155 pounds, which is pretty heavy. Now, obviously, you won't be able to pick this up and just move it without at least two strong people, maybe even three. However, I'd suggest sliding a furniture moving blanket or corner pads underneath the TV stand so you don't have to lift anything. I was able to partially lift each of the four corners of the TV stand in order to get a furniture moving blanket underneath the TV stand in order to push it into the desired location by myself. But of course, depending on your level of strength, you may need another or a couple of other people in order to push it. All things considered, this TV stand gets half a point for the portability category. So that concludes the review for this Real Flame Fresno electric fireplace TV stand, which got an overall score of 8.25 out of 10. 
And again, to be clear, this score does not reflect just the quality of the furniture, but also the essential features and overall assembly experience. So 8.25 is a really solid score. My biggest knock on the TV stand are the VOCs used to make the furniture pieces. Had there been no VOCs used, then this TV stand would have received a nine or so out of 10. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to subscribe to this channel because it lets me know to continue making these review videos. And I also urge you to leave in the comments section any suggestions for other categories that you would like to be reviewed on a future video. And finally, make sure to follow us on Instagram at prime underscore spaces where we post pictures and videos of completed furniture and equipment assemblies to help give you the inspiration you need when choosing the right furniture or equipment for your home or office. Till our next build, peace and love.